Hi, I'm Michael from Michael Strong Rubber Stamps. Well, I did it again. I was inspired to craft this great project out of something I was about to throw away. Come on back for our very first boxing match. Well, the thing I was going to throw away was a cotton swab carton that we got. And I looked at it and it was kind of a cool design. So what I did was I deconstructed it. I mean, I took it apart and figured out how to make templates out of it. So that's what you see here. And what I did was I discovered that it had two parts to make a single box. And I had to kind of play with it a little bit and I resized it so that each half of the box would fit onto an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet. So this is part A and part B. And you can download these as a template. And all you have to do is print them out onto some colorful cardstock. So that's how it looks when it comes out of your printer. And this is how it looks uh, after I have cut them. You can see that there are some score lines on there. Just take a craft knife and a straight edge. And what I do is I use the back of the craft knife because I don't want to cut through, but I do want to score it. And I want to score it so that it will fold neatly. You can see how easy that is to do. Using the back of the knife, like I said. There's one. We'll do the other one too. And this is the glue flap on this side. Just score that. Once again, using the back of the knife because you don't want to cut through here. All right, once these are all scored, all you need to do is bend them in like this. Now you can kind of see that it's starting to form a box-like shape. This is kind of cool. Of course, the idea here is you'll be able to display your holiday cards in kind of a, a kind of a cute way. All right. So we're going to put these two sections together to form the one box. Now on your template, it's going to say A and B. Um, I don't have it on mine, but um, you can just join the two letters together with some regular tape. See how that works? Just like that. Now you can see eventually this is all going to fold up into a nice neat little uh, display box. But before we do that, uh, we need to decorate it a little bit. So we're going to flip it over. This is the front of the box. Actually, I'll do it this way so you can see what it looks like. This will be the front of the box, and this little flap here will be folded down. And this is the part that's in the front of the box. It gets the most wear and tear. So this is a little fold gives it an ex some extra strength. So what we're going to do next is to uh, do a couple of little quick measurements. So I'm going to measure up from this bottom crease, one and three quarter inches. And I'm going to put a little dot right here on the crease and also on the other side of the front of the box right here. Now what we're going to do is use the Le Pen from Marvi Yoshida to draw some string. We'll call it string. I'm just using a plate that I had from home. And you can do this too. Or if, if you have any kind of a big circle template, you can do that. What I like about these pens is they have a nice fine line because I, I want to kind of mimic the look of a string. So it's perfect for that. Now, um, I didn't have any cups. Well, I mean, I have cups at home, of course. But I didn't have any the, the right size for the side uh, swag. So if you have a circle template or something like that, that's going to help you a lot. You can see how I'm just going to put that right on like that. Now this is the cool thing. I have these um, puffy velvet fabric markers from Marvi Yoshida, and I discovered that this one in particular, the white one, makes fantastic popcorn. And I want to show you how to do it. Because this is eventually going to be a string of popcorn and berries. So let me give you a little demo here. So shake it up. And then what you'll do is just kind of puddle up some of the ink right onto the string that we made. And what you can do is about maybe three or four at the same time before it dries too much. So just puddle it up. And you notice that I'm doing it um, kind of randomly because you know how popcorn kernels look there, completely random. So what we're going to do next is to heat this. And this is absolutely the coolest thing. And you'll watch how that puffs up. Of course, these were developed for fabric, but they work great with paper crafting. Can you believe it? Isn't it cool? 
It looks just like popcorn. Now, if it's not quite puffy enough for you, what you can do is come back after it dries and put a little bit more on the same spot. Now, I have one that I've decorated already that I want to show you. And I also put some of uh, the little berries on there. Now, the little berries were made just with some stuff I have around the house, which is these little half gold thingies. I think they're called cabochons. And I didn't want them gold, but um, they were the perfect size for this project. So what I'm going to do is use the fabric marker again, only this time it's going to be the red fabric marker. And I'm not going to heat it. I'm just going to use it as a coloring tool. So what I did was I took some of those little cabochons and I laid them on a piece of double stick tape like this. That's just so that I can corral them while I'm coloring them, really. Now you see how easy this ink comes out and it really um, makes a nice bright berry on here. And what I did with that after I colored them is I put a little glue right on the string that we did before. Just a little dab, you don't need too much. So we're just going to release them from the tape, just pick them off with your finger. Now I like to place it with a craft knife because they're plastic, you can just kind of poke the top of them and put them exactly where you want. So pick them off, poke them with the little knife and then place them. Now this will take maybe 10 minutes to dry so that they're completely ready to go. Now, we have to tell everybody what this is for, of course. So what I did was I printed out on my computer some fonts, and this says Elf Mail. For this one, I'm going to put a little smaller one right here, and you can see that it tells you exactly what it is. Now, if you notice on this one, uh, this part of the text has been highlighted with just glitter, and it's a pen that puts a nice little line of glitter on the um, text. You see how that works? Now, um, in my line of work, I'm always covered in glitter, and um, this, is, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> I'm going to do an imitation of my wife, Carla, when we're, before we're going out somewhere. She's like, I said, what are you doing? She says, I'm checking you for glitter. It's like embarrassing, you know. So with this product, um, uh, I don't have glitter on me anymore, and my son doesn't call me a pixie. It's just the greatest thing ever. So... You can see how terrific this looks. And it comes in this pretty gold, and also it comes in a silver and a multicolor. And I'll show you some of the other things that we did later with that. Uh, the nice thing about this is it dries very quickly, as you can see, it's already dry here. And we're ready to kind of um, show you how the box is put together. Now, these are the bottom flaps here. And we're going to tip that up and fold them down. Now I'm going to flip it around for you so you can see how those bottom flaps should fit together. This is the side. We're going to bring it in and put it all the way to the front. This is the front of the box and I'm just going to tape it in place just like this. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other half of the box. I'm going to bring that side flap all the way in and tape that in place. Now the only thing we have left to do is put the glue on the glue flap. So just use some glue stick or whatever glue that you like. And then you can see how closing it up and that flap fits right here on this edge. And that's how it looks. Pretty cute, huh? So this is half of the project. So you'll be making another box just like this and it will be attached to the side that you see here. So it'll be double this size. Just remember not to put any popcorn on the inside part of it here. So the only thing left to do now is to add what I call the North Pole to the box, which is made from a piece of cardstock. And it's the same red cardstock. And what I did was I scored it at the half inch mark, which is here. And you end up with four equal panels like this. And um, this is how it looks when it's done, because what you're going to do is fold it into a triangle. I'll do a, a, a real quick glue here for you so you can see how that works. This makes a nice, sturdy element, a nice, sturdy little pole that we're 
going to use. You can see how great that works. It doesn't look too much like the North Pole yet because we have to wrap it with a little stripe, which is just a little piece of quarter inch cardstock. And you can put a little glue to hold it in place. And then just start wrapping it diagonally around the pole, just like this. And see how that works. Really easy to do. You might need a couple of pieces to do the whole one. And then at the end, you'll just put a little bit more glue on here to hold it in place. Now this is how it looks when it's completed with the pole in place. And um, I added the sign, the elf mail sign, to the pole. And uh, this is the same font that you see below. It's just a little bit bigger. So this is like 120 points, I think. And again, I use my favorite new product of all time, the glitter pen, the Just Glitter Pen. So I finished it off here with the, the little styrofoam ball. And um, I, you know, this is really sturdy, so you can just kind of jam it on or you know, probably glue it. That's probably a better idea. But anyway, here's how it's supposed to function. It um, holds all your holiday cards. You can see how great that looks. Now, uh, I did a couple of variations that I want to show you. This is basically the same box that we made before in a different color palette in blues. And you can see that I used the silver just glitter on, on the, um, the blue text on this one. And then I decorated it with um, some punched out uh, snowflakes. Put the same message on the back on that one. Now the one down here is um, a kind of a bill paying system, I'll call it. And I matched the boxes up in a little bit different way. So on this side, it says uh, bills, what did I say? To be paid. And then you can put your receipts on the other side. And that's the paid in full side. So that's kind of a nice little organizer. Here, I used kind of an Asian inspiration on this one. And I had some washi paper that had this beautiful cherry blossom theme and the branches. And I used that same fine tip marker again to continue the branches up onto the green part of the box. And I just drew those on myself added a few punched out cherry blossoms here and there, and I think that really turned out great. And then um, inside the box here, you'll see that I used that um, puffy velvet marker again to make the snow on that little tree. And also, if you notice the snow on this little card here. Well, this is really my kind of boxing, I'll tell you. Um, it's a great craft project. It's inspired by trash, which you know I love and I didn't get any black eyes. So I hope you come back next time and we'll see you soon. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.